Hey folks, Jonathan here. Okay, we're back on the truck. We've got everything done on the truck that we need to get done before we start uh, putting the bed on and made a few decisions on how I want to do this. So, front drive shaft. I needed, I, I figured it up that I could take somewhere between 53, 54 inches out and the bed would line up just like I need it. But you can play with that some because the this, this cylinder panel on the bed at the front, you can move about what's well, in the center now, so I could go forward or back six to eight inches. So uh, you can play with it. So from center of this drive shaft to the center of this drive shaft is 50 inches. So if I just completely done away with that drive shaft, that would put me at 50 inches shorter, and that would actually be usable doable and that'll keep me from having to cut any drive shafts uh, I'll just do away with that drive shaft and then uh, move the cross member to where this drive shaft uh, so it actually I think if I turned one of these around it was going to put it close or I can redrill uh, but if I face this curve backwards with the mount backwards I think it's going to put it about right because it's a little bit longer drive shaft than the 50 inches uh, we can figure all that out but uh so, if I do that, I measured between these bolts and these bolts, and it's exactly 50 inches. So, if I just took the rear mount loose, the bolt pattern is the same, if I took the rear mount loose and I bolted it here, that will give us our 50 inches, and then I'll just redrill for the front bolt holes, and then redrill for the overloads, shorten the brake line and the wires and that's it that's all i need to do i haven't taken it down the road yet i think i'm going to do that now and just uh see how it does we only got one wheel on the back but uh the way these lugs work a lot of people some of you may have messed with these some of you haven't but that is actually a lug also and uh these are they don't they're not uh center locate even though they do go on the centers pretty good but uh, they're not that bad rims. A lot of people don't like them. They'd really have the, the regular rims, but uh, I think they're calling these buds now. I always called all of them buds, and the others were dating. It's the open rims, but, but whatever. But anyway, uh, we'll give her a try. All right. all right, folks, I took it down the road and back, and it done really good, and uh, I'm sure liking it. So it's going to be nice to have something a little heavier, GVW. Uh, this is a 25.5 truck in my red truck is actually it was a u-haul so it's only 17,000 is what they rated it at now i've of course hauled way more than that but you know legally it wasn't it's not made for it or not supposed to be for it but uh anyway we're going to get to work on stretching this out i think what i'll do is get it, the frame blocked up get the wheels chalked in the front and then uh start pulling these bolts out luckily we don't have uh rivets i've had to do rivets before but i don't see any on this so everything's bolted uh, three quarter, so we can knock it out.
you can see we got the rear end loose so we're going to take these off and then I'm going to go ahead and make a stick to mark to go 50 inches forward of this and the back ones should bolt right back in place where the front one was and uh, we won't have to change any of these holes uh, redrill these and then I think I'm going to be able to get by with using these holes for the cross member but I'm not sure we'll alright folks following day we worked till about dark last night uh, so let me show you what I've done and where we're at so everything's unbolted so the rear bracket will bolt where the front bracket was and then 50 inches forward we've got some new holes drilled and I'm going to show you how I mark them to drill them okay first thing you do is build you a pole like this I got a pointer on that end As you can see I've moved it uh, because I used this for a different truck before so this is just a piece of conduit pipe and on this end I've got a a bolt welded on it that fits in the original hole you put it in and it's exactly 50 inches and as you can see it's in the center but you use it to scratch with once it's scratched I'll show you what I do to get the distance down and then hold this end of it and bring it down let me see okay so we're on this end we've got it wrapped over if you come down you can see that six and quarter center five and three quarters or eight and three quarters center and then eleven and an eighth is center and that's what I've done and it's pretty simple just to hold it there wrap it around get your whole distance and then mark it out here and what I do is scratch the first one with the with our tool here and then the second one when I come down I actually use a center punch and punch the holes and then I uh, use my mag drill to drill it so it don't take long to drill so we've got these done we're ready to bolt her in forward except for we've got these little 3 8 holes to do for the the overload brackets so what I'm going to do is redo this uh, I may grind it down just to fit in the hole it don't matter the bolt just make it fit and then we're going to go 50 inches forward on them uh, we'll have to move this rear or raise this up and come forward 50 inches for that one we'll get them eight holes on each side drilled and then we'll be ready to bolt the rear back into place so we should be finished up with this today shouldn't be a problem Okay, so when I went through this thing, you could feel the frame pushing away on the inside because we're magnetized the outer frame, but we're actually drilling on the inner frame. So I got to get a bolt in there 
tighten it down before I go any farther because I could just feel it and I don't want to get in a bind with my bit uh, rotary brogues bits are too expensive all right all right much better Alright folks, this side of the frame's done. I got eight more holes doing the other side. Uh, we're drilling a total of 28 new holes, so that's really not too bad. Uh, the only bad part, it is through two frames, so uh, really be, uh, what, 56 holes. But uh, that's okay. The uh, mag drill is a lifesaver because I've done this by hand for years. Alright folks, so we've finished up the truck itself, shortening it, and now we're pulling the bed off of this tilt frame. We're going to start working on the tilt frame and get it ready to uh, to change over. Put some new air pad on it. Replace a few pieces. It's rusty. Clean it up really good. Got to redo these boxes. We're getting her there. All right, but we got the bed off. And uh, it's got this track on it, which is still in good shape. I think everything's going to be fine on it. I kind of figured out where I needed to take it apart to get the hoses and all off. Uh, planetary winch looks to be in good shape. We'll replace the long hoses before we... You can see some nicks on them and all. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so here's our tilt frame. So we'll go ahead and get it. Probably pressure wash it first. And we'll probably repack this cylinder since this is a Duradan. Yeah, it won't be. somebody's put an O-ring around it because they didn't put a scraper ring on it. So this was broke where it broke the cross member, but that's fine too. Uh, we'll reinforce all that and make a new cross member. The track's not broke here, just depends out. Yeah. Just a bunch of fabricating and welding. All right, folks, pretty productive day here. We've got uh, all this done, drive shafts back in. I did have to re-drill two inches off for the cross member there, but it's okay, we got it in. We got the carrier bearing or uh, center support bearing, what some people call it. Uh, I always knew it as a carrier bearing growing up, so got it in. We do have the brake lines on, but do not have them mounted yet. So we're going to run the original brackets back on these lines and on the, for the, uh, I'll show you what they look like. So it's an L bracket, comes off the frame, hold your wire in place and it holds this. So we're going to get them back on here eventually before we do anything on the bed. So this gets bobbed off and uh, gets mounted and I think I'm going to mount it. So. With what we shortened it, it brings it back to where we'd be cutting it about right in here. I think I'm going to go back a little ways and cut it. And then I'm going to move the cylinder up at the top on the bed so it rolls back even farther. Uh, the farther it rolls back, the less of a loading angle you're going to have. And I, it's adjustable. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, Martin is over cleaning on it right now, pressure washing. Uh, he's been helping me out here lately. For the last couple days, anyway. And... Uh, Getting quite a bit done. And here's our bed. Took it off, flipped it over. You can see somebody has tried to replace some cross members. It looks like they cut them somehow and wedged, got them in there. And then it uh, uh, don't look like they fully welded them back. Or, uh, that's where that center panel is that we've got to change out anyway. So quite a few of these cross members look like they're going to need replaced. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I may go with some uh, channel or I may bend some pieces. 
Uh, I do not like any enclosed cross member on a bed. It's the stupidest thing you can do. Uh, if you'd use channel like I did on mine and turn it upright, or flip it all the way over and use it the other way to where the, the water will come out. You know, all it does is hold mud, hold water, hold crap, and it rusts out. It's, it's proven right here. Uh, you know, just they they don't want to uh, they don't want to build anything to last anyway. So, and you see what happened during the wreck. Uh, I think there was a car on the back. He knocked the car forward, but it probably uh, pushed back on the bed because it bent it down and yeah, I guess it forced it back. So that's a healthy piece. And that's why I was worried about my hydraulic cylinder. I've already ran my cylinder entirely out and back in and it's in good shape. And this is no problem at all to fix. Uh, we'll just build a new one, put it in with a new hole. Maybe, you know, support it around the, the shaft a little better than what it was. And that's not a problem. So cross members, no issue there. Uh, I am gonna redo I'm going to fix the sides. I'm not going to replace the sides on it. They're plenty thick enough and they're not rusted out. They're just, uh, they got some bending on them. We'll just get it all straight. As you can see, that one's bent. They may have bent it to try to get them rails in too, so. But I've got a 10 ton port of power and enough trucks and everything else. Uh, the I beams look really good. No issues there. Uh, most of our bed issues don't see much in the center that's rusted out it's mostly out here toward the edges so we may scab into it somehow uh, what I can do is cut these off bend my own new pieces and go over top of it and then replace the outer section uh, you know we got a I got a brake press or press brake whatever you want to call it and uh, anyway that's the deal with that they didn't build them too daggone strong to start with uh, everything else is in pretty good shape. I mean, we'll get it all straightened out and then we'll get it back on. Uh, I guess I, you know, I do like the track, I suppose. And, uh, like I said, I think it's pulled too tight here because it got ripped forward. Somehow the lines did. So we're going to relieve them. And it looks like this one here is short. It's got a, yeah, there's one here too. Okay, so we got. If we replace them two, we can leave everything that's mounted as long as it's in good shape and we'll just replace the two in the track. So we'll get all that fixed and we'll go back with that track because it seems to be working good. Uh, we'll fix the panel that goes on top of it. Uh, let me see, they cut, looks like some supports are missing. So that's on the, uh, the piece that they replaced. I don't, you know, like I said, that, that piece is, sheet metal is coming off anyway and we're going to put a new piece on. So. Anyway, not sure why they've done it the way they've done it, but you know, it is what it is. We'll straighten it all out and try to make it where it'll last us. We don't have rust issues here, so shouldn't be a problem to take care of everything. All right, let me show you the, what we're doing on the other part. talking about we change it up so if we mount it a little bit shorter of a wheelbase uh, we can move this to make the bed not come as far forward uh, see there's the cab to axle so that's what is the thing about a cookie cutter bed you know this bed's made to fit a lot of different stuff looks like we got some wear in that hole too so that pen's probably stuck in there good be a good time to beat that thing out of there while we've got the bed off because if we have to do it some other time it will be a pain but everything looks good on it i mean the wear pads are a little bit worn not a problem there we can replace all of that stuff like i said we're going to rebuild that so. all right folks sure is a big difference in the the frame from what it was shortening it up out like that but uh like i said we're going to cut off bob it off behind the axle there behind the mount so we get ready to do that we'll get that done and we'll go from there uh not sure what cab to axle length i went but 
I might tell you here. I'll check that. All right, so 136 is what I went to cab to axle. So uh, I can't remember what the full length is going to be. 180, 175, I think, maybe something like that. And we'll bob the frame off. We just want to wait and make sure that we don't screw that up and make sure we do that last. Uh, cut it too short, and you got to weld it back together. So, but everything's working good. Brakes are good. We got it rebled. Drive shaft, everything worked out really well. Uh, we're really lucky not to have to cut a drive shaft. By um, just going, you know, taking that front shaft out, it actually worked out perfect. And we got the right amount of slip there. So, and I re clocked the splines on this to match because it was off. So that's taken care of. Um, yeah, everything's good to go. All right, I appreciate everybody watching. We're gonna start back on this thing in the morning. This is Sunday, tomorrow, Monday. Uh, so we'll start back on it early in the morning and see what we can get done as long as it ain't raining. And uh, maybe we can get this bed on here and go do some towing with it in the next month or so. All right, appreciate everybody watching. Till next time, bye. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm gonna put Martin's YouTube channel in the description. Go check it out. You might be surprised at what he does. All right.